guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leah if you're new and if you're not subscribed already, I would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below as well as the bell next to it. That way you can be notified of every time that I upload. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag and also reviewing the Celine mini luggage as you can see here. Um, I do believe this one is in the shade Dune and Navy. So I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell right off the bat, but this color here is Navy. Um, it does almost look black unless you're in like really good lighting. Um, also, before I get into this video, I did want to let you guys know that I am selling this bag. Um, it'll be for sale on my consignment website, so I'll have that in the link down below. Um, it's BrokeFishBargains.com. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this bag, you can see all of the photos and the exact details of this bag in that listing. Um, the bag's in excellent condition though, and it's really a beautiful, wonderful bag. So definitely sad to see it go, but I'm sure somebody else will get a lot more use out of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into this video. Okay, so I figured I'd go ahead and start by just showing you guys a 360 of the bag so you can see what it looks like. Um, the colors, I believe, are navy and dune. Uh, the navy can definitely appear black in some lights, but when you're in good lighting, you can definitely tell that it's navy. So the front just has this little zipper here. Um, it's a little compartment, which to be honest, I never put anything in here. I just feel like it's not really useful, but it does kind of add to just like the classic look of the Celine bags. Um, a lot of people like to say that it looks like a face. Here's the eyes and the mouth. Um, so yeah, the sides look like this. This bag has hardly been used, so it's in like excellent condition. Um, here's the back. A lot of people I've seen have said that this little thing here is meant to hold your sunglasses. I've never used it for that. Don't quote me on that. That's just what I've heard. Um, but yeah, this is what the bag looks like. And then I'll go ahead and show you the bottom. It does have these little studs here just so that the leather is not brushing up against anything. Um, I would say that is probably my biggest con with this bag is because it's calfskin leather and suede, it definitely can get dirty easily. Um, that's why like, I think this bag has hardly ever been used. So yeah, I guess let's go ahead and get on to what I keep inside. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I really don't have too much. I only use this bag a few times. I actually purchased it um, for my consignment business, but I did use it for some photos and a few times when we were just out during the day. So I'll go ahead and show you guys like what I like to keep in a medium to large size bag. So the first thing that's like the biggest thing that I usually keep inside of here is my planner. Um, my boyfriend actually bought me this for Christmas. It's just a 12 month planner. I believe he bought this at Marshall's. And I just like to keep this on me because I feel like it literally saves my life and that's the only reason I ever get anything done is because I can see everything I have to do. Um, especially like right now we're actually in quarantine because of the whole coronavirus thing and so having a purpose to wake up every day and like seeing what I have to do the next day is like what's getting me out of bed. So that is definitely the largest thing that I keep in here. Next I just have my sunglasses case which right now they actually just have my prescription glasses in here. Um, I just use these like little clear glasses. I don't like glasses that really take up too much of my face. I used to wear like the classic black kind of square sunglasses square glasses that I feel like a lot of people wear. Um, I do like them, but I just feel like they cover so much of my face and I like these just because the um, frames themselves are just very thin and don't really block my vision or anything. So I have those. I don't wear them too awful much. Um, I do prefer them over contacts, but I just I'm not crazy about the way I look in glasses. So that's why I just don't wear those too often. And then I have gum in here. This is not my favorite gum by any means. This is the Extra Refreshers Berry Mix. Um, I bought this like Extra Refreshers. They're almost like those ice cubes. I don't know if you guys have ever tried those. Um, those are definitely my favorite. These are pretty good, but I'm just not crazy about the berry flavor. Some of them just tasted kind of like, um, like Robitussin to me, I don't know. So not my favorite thing in the world. Next in here, I have my Tory Burch wallet, which to be honest, I really don't ever reach for this. It more so has like my cards for stores, like rewards cards, like for Ulta and Sephora and things like that. Um, and then for my business, I keep all of my receipts in here and obviously like cash, but I usually don't have that much cash on me. So I don't know, I just really don't grab for that. What I do keep all of my cards in and like my driver's license and things that I actually reach for is this little card holder. It's also Tory Burch. I just think it's really cute. 
Um, it has a little bow on it, and I picked this up at Plato's Closet when I lived in Boca Raton. Um, so yeah, I've like used this for years. I just love it because it holds all of my cards. It's easy to get to, and I feel like even when I switch to a smaller purse, it's so nice to just be able to throw that in there and have everything I need. And then really the last thing that I have in the big compartment here is this small bottle of Advil liquid gels obviously in case I get like a headache or anything like that it's just nice and handy to have so the inside of the bag actually features a little zipper compartment like you can see here um, I don't have anything in here right now but when I do it's usually like feminine products um, ladies you know what I'm talking about <laughs> and then on the other side of the bag it has these little two patch pockets here so I always like to keep a tie to go stick on me um, these have saved my clothes in so many different situations and my boyfriend's clothes. Um, so ladies, always keep one on you because even if you're not a messy eater, I can guarantee you that your boyfriend is. <laughs> and the last thing I have in here is a little sanitizer. Um, this one's from Bath and Body Works and it's in the scent Champagne Toast. I think it smells really good. Um, I've had the candle quite a few times in this scent. However, my boyfriend doesn't ever use this sanitizer. He said it gives him a headache. But I think it's fine, and I just always like to keep sanitizer on me. Obviously, it's like really important right now with the riots going on. But yeah, so that's pretty much everything that I keep in this bag. Um, I try to, with whenever I carry a designer luxury bag, I try to not keep anything messy in there. Like I never really keep pens or like, I don't know. I just don't like it to be cluttered and like chance it getting too dirty. Um, I like to keep, take good care of my bags, especially because I do have an online consignment shop where I like resell everything that I no longer want and things like that. That's one of the best benefits of my business is I get to use the products that we get in. So it's just been a lot of fun getting to wear some Louis Vuitton bags and Celine and Chanel and it's just like the best job ever. But anyways, sorry that kind of went on a tangent. That is what the inside of the bag looks like. Um, let me see if I can pull up any little thing that I mentioned in the listing that way you guys have a better idea so I think I already mentioned before that it's calfskin suede um, yeah the colors are navy and dune and it basically just says it has ornate piping trim looping top handles in navy frontal zipper pocket brass hardware the top unzips to a leather interior with zipper and patch pockets it was made in Italy and it's made of calfskin leather and soft suede. Um, all of the measurements will be in the listing if you guys want to check it out. Like I said, I'll have it in the down bar down below. Um, but just to give you an idea, it says the drop is four and a half inches. So it really can only be worn like as a shoulder bag. Let me show you guys real quick. So this is kind of what it looks like on. Obviously it's empty right now so it doesn't look as good. Um, this bag definitely looks better with the more stuff in it, that way the material doesn't fold. Um, we make sure to sanitize all of our bags, so no need to worry about the virus <laughs> with us. Um, we take good care of everything, and if there are any flaws on any of our products, we always mention it. So yeah, that's what I keep in my Celine mini luggage. I hope that you guys like this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.